My name is Brad Halsey, and I'm CEO of Building Momentum. Our company's mission is to arm the Marine with basically two things, confidence and the permission to solve hard problems with the tools, technology, and things available to them. We taught Marines many techniques on how to solve problems to include CAD and 3D printing, welding, they learn how to code and program microcontrollers to make robots. They develop sensor networks, wireless communications, and a whole bunch of other technologies that enable them to solve problems out here in places like this. You know, showing that sometimes door kickers have the best ideas, mainly because they're on the front lines. They, they can see the problem straight away, and they've thought about you know, a solution to that problem a hundred times, they just haven't been able to actually create it. Left, right, you want to you basically set your minimum and maximum values. Pops in, goes to the limit. Seeing as these are analog, um, these are analog you know, knobs here, you know, they, they can have a varying you know, levels of... of uh, so I've actually seen an immediate um, of how the tech that we're teaching will help in a crisis response. Uh, there's, a, there's a medic going through our uh, drone training at the moment, um, and he's, he's involved with crisis response, and he was like, I, I need to get one of these, I need to have one of these up in the air immediately so I can start you know, surveying uh, groups of people when there's a crisis happening. Because having eyes on a large group, it's very difficult to set up permanent cameras or fixed cameras, but it's very easy to put a drone in the air that has a camera attached to it to get eyes on the entire crowd. My name is Cheyenne Dwyer and I'm a lead trainer here with Building Momentum. We teach all sorts of emerging technologies such as Arduino microcontrollers, XB radios, 3D printing, CAD software and welding, and the Marines themselves use these to solve everyday problems they encounter, such as an antenna falling off their roof and being able to re-CAD the piece to make it operational within an hour. A lot of them hadn't been challenged in this way, so they had to sit down, break down the problem, and break down what they could do in order to solve and find the solution. They absorb it like a sponge. The Marine Corps and the Navy are particularly adept at taking problems and figuring out how to solve them, given what they have around them. And all we do is inject some of the new tools of today into that problem-solving machine. The camera is making it uh, pitch forward a little bit, which is a good thing and a bad thing, because if you just want it to hover, kind of doing this drifting forward. So either I'm gonna have to counterbalance it in the back with something else, or put the camera in a better center of gravity like back here. There's not a lot of room, so we'll have to see. There's a lot of information that we jam into their heads during this week. With the skills the Marines learned this week, within a combat situation, they can now think on their feet. They can be innovative. They can use things back at their shop in order to create solutions that didn't exist before. These guys came into this not knowing how to do any of this, and they left today essentially winning the competition against special operators, using the tech and using their guile and cleverness. So they will come away from this with a swagger of confidence that they can pick up any piece of technology they can figure out how it works and use it to solve problems. Every Marine, regardless of MOS, needs new and different ways to solve problems. And every Marine, again, regardless of MOS, encounters all sorts of different things in their, in their day. And to have these tools and technologies available to everybody enables them to solve problems, whether on the battlefield or back at home.
I believe all Marines and sailors can benefit from this, no matter what their MOS. That's because all MOSs have problems, so they can now use all of this technology to solve whatever their problem might be. They also can talk across MOSs and possibly solve problems for all of the Marine Corps and not just their unit.